The most relevant student in all of Fulton, Ohio. And I'm here with Logan. Hello, Logan. Oh, okay. okay. Um, it's no longer week three vlog because we've missed a lot of weeks, right? Yeah, because teachers been acting trim. Like they've been, they've been wild and just been doing it all together too much. Yeah. But a lot has happened since we seen y'all. Like our girl football team is three and zero. Oh. They dominate. Three and zero. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah and. Our boys, they beat Hansville 44. They got 30. one win. They got one win under their belt. Let's go. 44 36. How am I wilding? You said one win under the belt. We've, we've talked about four games. Am I lying? Anyway. Am I lying though? Switching gears. Switching gears is Hispanic Heritage Month, and we're going to be learning about Hispanic culture. We're going to be highlighting Hispanic students in our school. But and we're going to get somebody that's more educated, and that's actually inside. Speaking the of somebody more educated, I think you should turn to leave. Why you can't go? Because you're my co-host. We're going to rock, paper, scissors. All right, let's go. Three, two, you can get out. You have to All right, let's rewind. Hola, What's up? Hola, Pepe, Chese, ¿cómo están? Yo soy Diana. Este es Luis. Ahí está Karina. Y hoy tenemos a Roman. I was waiting for you to introduce me. My name is Roman. Y este mes estamos celebrando la herencia de los hispanos. All right, now that both of y'all done talking, let the host speak, okay? No, eres el host. I am host. No te creas. You co-host, no, you co-host. No, tú eres el co-host. Oh, I'm so tired. How you tell somebody to calm down in Spanish? Calmate. Cal calmate. Calmate tú. Sigue. Please. Anyway, um, we about to get into some interviews, right? Yeah. We about to go be interviewing people around the school about what Hispanic culture means to them. And also, y'all need to teach me how to brush up my Spanish. I'm gonna learn a couple words for you. Okay. Yeah. We're here with our soccer players. Gustavo. And Ulysses. Hola, mi nombre es Luis. Y aquí estoy con mis amigas de honor de sociedad. Could you introduce yourself? Hola, me llamo Kendall Mathis. Hola, um, I'm Kyrie. Hola, me llamo Kendall Miller. Um, so, what is Hispanic Heritage Month? Hispanic Heritage Month is a month celebrated from September 15th to October 15th. Why do we celebrate it from September 15th to October 15th? Um, it's celebrated during that month because that's when many of the Spanish-speaking countries celebrate their Independence Days. What's up, Fulton Naha? I'm here with the SGA president, Caleb Davis, and I'm about to ask him uh, a question about Hispanic Heritage Month. Why, why do you think we should celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month? Uh, we should celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month because America as a country already is a big mixing pot of different cultures and ethnicities, and especially in the South where a lot of the friends that we know and love come from a Hispanic heritage. Since it's Hispanic Heritage Month, we're talking about Hispanic foods, and you know, I like tacos, but some people like tamales. We've been having that debate. I personally like tacos. What you like better? 
Uh, for me personally, I'll take tamales. Probably los tacos. Can I go so you just saying that because you didn't want to be like him. It's fine, it's fine. It's no, cool. I know. I'm here with Jonathan. Okay, do you prefer tacos or tamales? Tacos. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, today I'm here with Sierra. And I have a few questions to ask you. Está bien contigo? What do you prefer, tamales or tacos? Tamales. <laughs> tamales, all right, all right. Who's better, you or him? Me. I ain't gonna lie, in my opinion, him. Oh, uh, him? Yeah, him. Why, why you say him? Uh, he has, he's, he has more experience than me, honestly. Hola, yo soy Diana, y hoy estoy con... Um, hello, I'm Carity. Y hoy estamos con nuestra maestra de español. Hola, soy señora coaches. Entonces, teníamos unas preguntas para usted. Si está bien con usted. Sí, claro. Okay, so today we're here to um, ask you some questions about Hispanic um, culture. Okay. Okay, so what inspired you more to, like, do, be a teacher in, t yeah, in school? Well, to be a teacher... I think that teaching is one of the best fields that a person can be in, whether it's uh, a calling or it, you know, is a career. I think that it truly is rewarding. You cannot beat being able to work uh, with an uh, outstanding group of young people, such as um, the students we have here at Fulton Dale High School, impacting people, and also, of course, you know, teaching a certain content area that we tend to be passionate Well, how do you feel about, um, how would you describe the culture here, mm -hmm. the Hispanic culture here mm -hmm. in Fultondale? Um, I think the Hispanic culture here at Fultondale High School is one uh, part of our student body here. And in my experiences with not only teaching Spanish, but also working with uh, ESL, English as a Second Language, our students and our parents, it, it's been an outstanding experience. Um, our Hispanic students, all of our students, but especially our Hispanic students, they're wonderful students, uh, very respectful. Um, I've made a lot of uh, relationships with parents and, and even students over the years, you know, older siblings, uh, coming back, teaching younger siblings. Um, I've just met some of the greatest students doing uh, what we have been doing in the Spanish and ESL classes. Right. And um, I have been to your class, right? And mm -hmm. you teach us a lot of different leaders and influencers, so, mm -hmm. but which one is your like one favorite one? Ooh, hard to say. Let's see. <laughs> I can't help but say Selena. Everybody <laughs> loves Selena, and right. I do too. And uh, something that's really interesting is that we lived, my family lived in Texas at the time that she passed away. So I remember that time in the 90s. But So from the top of your head, you said there's 21 countries <laughs> yes. speaking Spanish? Yes. Okay. From the top of your head, can you name all of them? Yes. <laughs> well, can you name them first? Yes, I can. Um, I'll count. Okay. I'll count. Empezando en Norte America, tenemos México. Honduras, are you all counting? Okay. You got to. Mexico, Honduras, El Salvador, Guatemala, um, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, Chile, Argentina, in El Caribe, tenemos Cuba, uh, La República Dominicana, Puerto Rico, España, in Africa, there is Guinea Equatorial. How many is that? That's 20. That's 20? Oop, I missed one. Where did I miss it? I feel like it's in Central America. Uh oh. You'll have to give me some extra credit. I missed is, one somewhere. Is it Dominican Republic? I think I got that one in the Caribbean. Okay. I feel like I missed one in Central America. Anyway, you'll have to give me the extra credit assignment for that one. Okay, entonces, de todas esas, ¿a cuál, a cuál has ido? Mm -hmm. ¿A cuál es? Um, I have been to, uh, I've been to Spain twice. I've been to, and we had the opportunity to stay there for about six weeks as an undergraduate. So that was another experience that really impacted me. So um, after that, as far as the Spanish-speaking countries, I have been to Costa Rica. I have been to Cuba. I count Mexico, but I would like to go back and have a better trip. <laughs> I was only able to go to the island of Cozumel, so so not really. And I think that's it in the Spanish-speaking world. That's really but I would love to go back to Mexico again, and I would really love to go to Guanajuato. Pues como le preguntamos a Dr. 
Robinson. Robinson. Uh-huh. Y uh, Mr. Buffalo. Le tengo que preguntar también. Okay. Uh, ¿cuál, ¿Cuál es su favorito estudiante o cuál ha sido su favorito estudiante? Oh, what a tough question. Who is my favorite student? Um, everybody. Do I get away with that? No. 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 Okay. Tiene que ser una persona. If I had to um, pick one student, um, so one thing that's very important in the Hispanic community is family. So la familia es toda. So family is everything. Okay, and that's one thing I admire about Hispanic culture. Um, there is a family that has come through Fultondale, and one of the students is still here. Um, one of my first years here, maybe my first year here, I had the older sister, Olivia Miranda Roque. And, uh, you know, back my first year of teaching, uh, you know, I, I really didn't have anything. It was kind of a sink or swim experience. So my, she was my student aide, and she and I just would sit in the class and just make copies and little cutout things because, you know, you just kind of use those things as you go along. And so she was like my, my right hand, and she was really a blessing to me. And then after, Moran, after Olivia was, I think, Jersane, and then now here at our school, currently we have Joel. And that family, there, there have been many, but if I have to pick one, I would say the Miranda Roque family. That has just been the most respectful family. They are just great students, great just all the way around academically, you know, respecting themselves, their teachers, their peers. They're just, it's a great family. Thank you. Yes, I would just like to thank all of Fultondale High School for just being such a great school. I've always enjoyed my time here. I'm glad uh, in the last few years we've tried to bring more attention to Hispanic Heritage Month. And so this year, um, you've probably seen some things we've been doing in the cafeteria and the announcements every morning. They're very educational. but. Uh, next week, we hope to start our poster and art contest. So, calling all Wildcats, we want you to um, turn in an informative poster of your favorite element of Hispanic culture. It could be a food, a landmark, a place, a country, a person, um, but it needs to be of or pertaining to those countries, those 21 places. I missed one, still trying to figure out which one that is, um, or, your, uh, or an art uh, poster. We'd like for it to be something tangible, not something electronic so that people can see it. We'll judge them and then the winners will be invited to a pizza party. So please participate, turn in an informative or art poster and then the judges will um, judge them and hopefully you'll be selected as a winner. Pues gracias y eso acaba hoy. Uh -huh. um, gracias a ustedes. Okay, so much. <laughs> well, let's, adios. So it's your boy Roman here with the football team captain slash quarterback. Y'all already know, like, what's your name? What's your name? Valerie. Tell them who you is. Uh, uh, they 4-0. Oh. How does it feel to be 4-0? Oh? It feels pretty good. We've been mm. doing super good, so. Okay, okay, okay. Think fast. <laughs> this is your full Sundell quarterback, people. Anyway, um, this, as you know, it's Hispanic Heritage Month. So what does Hispanic Heritage Month mean to you? I mean, you know, growing up, it's been, I grew up in Honduras for like the first seven years of my life. Mm -hmm. So coming here, I've kind of adapted to everything. So it's not like a big of a difference for me as it is for more people. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it means a lot because my life is like much more different here than it would be over there. And I'm just, you know, thankful that we're able to have like everything, you know, and I don't know, it's really important, I guess. Got a yeah. question. So did you have to learn English? Yeah, because I mean, okay, over there I went to a school where like they taught me English, so I didn't have to learn as much. And I came here when I was in the second grade, so I like adapted to things very quickly. But yes, I did have to learn English. Okay, that's good. That's yeah. good. So you more bilingual. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. Anyway, um, so what type of holidays do y'all celebrate? Or do y'all like celebrate the ones? Um, uh, one of the big ones is Christmas. Mm -hmm. Um, over there, Christmas is more about family time than gifts. Uh, so, other than that, that's like a huge difference. So, Christmas is very important over there. So, basically, what you're trying to say is us Americans are greedy <laughs> and we just want presents. We don't care about, like, you know, Jesus was born on that day. Who so was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so that's all the questions. So, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. And, yeah, go long, go long, go long. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. You talk to me, you talk to me, you talk to me, you talk to me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Let's go. Ready? Ready? Alright. Hi! Hey. Oh. <laughs> 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 DZ, you're not beat.
Good job, Destiny. Good job, Zuberry. Yeah. I don't know, bro. Taylor told me that she never leave me. When we be dancing, I get very sleepy. I got a song post, but I don't write hard it. I be hoping one day he releases. I be wishing I can keep my freedom. Must be something wrong with me, cause I can't keep my friend. In. I be praying for one day Demo can see again. In. I be wanna fly away when I ain't Peter Pan. In. My little brother, young boy, told me he look up to me. In. I don't know why I be even feeling like it's me now. About to call him, try to see what all this fussing by. My little nephew turned two, they say he cussing now. Me, Mill told my shit, have a least 50. In. Hoping I don't ever land All this money make me feel I could do anything mm. I was free about that bleaky on the magazine mm. He lost his life to a gun, was only 21 uh. Radisha gave up on me and I ain't take that easy Got a song with Adam Levine, but I ain't heard it yet I need a reload of that ass, I'm trying to double stack I'm going park cause I ain't trying to catch a murder rap I'm kinda tired of this fame and the internet Cause they be playing with my name like I won't kill a They be hating, throwing shade like I ain't kill it. I'm sliding in a GLS with a dirt can I'm trying to take my time to time me more affection I'm sliding in a GLS with a dirt can And how it feel, man? How it? Um, it feels amazing. You know, I went out here and I had a lot of. Um, I knew that my team was gonna do good, but we did much better than I thought, and I'm so glad that we got this first win. And hopefully, it kicks off to the rest of the team or the games. <laughs> we saw you was throwing a bunch of downs out there. How you feel? I feel good. I mean, I couldn't have done it without my catchers. You know. They're the ones. It's all on them. Um, I couldn't do it without my team, honestly. <laughs> what you guys say to phone them? Um, tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Hola, muchas gracias por ver el vlog de esta semana. Y esperemos que les gustó. Oh, my turn. I don't know how to have to say the little speech for the guys. You know, I told you I was going to brush up on my Spanish, so like, all right. Gracias por ver este vlog. Por favor, suscríbete, denle un gusto. Esta mentira. Anyway. Guys, this is the end of the video. We'll come to y'all. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Stay tuned. Hey, 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 hey.